straps today. After months of rigorous training and relentless competition to earn points, the momentous Diamond League final of 2023 finally arrived. This season had treated fans to a total of 14 thrilling meets, culminating in the prestigious final event. Remarkably, this year's final was hosted by Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, marking the first time in history that the Diamond League final ventured outside of Europe to the United States. The competition spanned two electrifying days, and Caribbean athletes were ready to deliver one last exhilarating performance of the season. The opening day of the Diamond League final witnessed exceptional performances from our Caribbean athletes. Kyron McMaster, the silver medalist at the Budapest World Championship from the British Virgin Islands, displayed his prowess by finishing third in the highly competitive 400-meter hurdles race, clocking an impressive 47.31 seconds. Over her line, the world champion, here comes Rye Benjamin! Warholm, Rye Benjamin! Norway's Karsten Warholm, the world record holder, secured the second position with a time of 46.43 seconds. However, the race was brilliantly won by Antiguan-born Rye Benjamin, who set a new world leading and Diamond League record with an astonishing time of 46.39 seconds. Benjamin's victory established him as the top-ranked American man in both the 400-meter and 400-meter hurdles. In the 400 meters, Grenada's Kirani James clinched victory with a season's best time of 44.30 seconds, marking his third time winning the 400-meter Diamond League title in his career. Jamaica's Rasheen McDonald secured fifth place with a time of 45.10 seconds. Hull and James now stride for stride, and Kirani James will get across the line as he wins a Diamond League championship at 31 years of age. In the men's javelin, Grenada's two-time world champion Anderson Peters delivered a commendable performance, finishing sixth with his best throw spanning 74.71 meters. The women's triple jump witnessed Jamaica's Shanika Ricketts showcasing her talent with a remarkable leap of 15.03 meters, setting a new personal best and securing second place. Her compatriot Kimberly Williams achieved third place with a season's best jump of 14.61 meters. The event, however, was dominated by Venezuela's Yulimar Rojas, the Budapest world champion who soared to a meeting record of 15.35 meters, clinching yet another Diamond League title. In the men's 100 meters, Jamaica's emerging sprint sensation Kishane Thompson claimed a respectable fourth place with a time of 9.87 seconds. And this time we're underway cleanly. take the Xfinity Men's 100 and the Diamond League Championship. The event was won by American Christian Coleman in 9.83 seconds, followed by Budapest World Champion Noah Lyles in second place with 9.85 seconds and Kenya's Ferdinand Omanyala in third, also with 9.85 seconds. Johan Blake, the veteran Jamaican sprinter, secured the sixth position with a time of 10.08 seconds. Jamaica's Daniel Thomas Dodd competed in the shot put, finishing sixth with her best throw spanning 19.17 meters. To conclude the first day of competition, Sharika Jackson of Jamaica clinched her first Diamond League title by emerging victorious in the 100 meters with an impressive time of 10.70 seconds. Not hitting her straps today! Her compatriot Elaine thompson Hera secured third place with a season's best time of 10.79 seconds, while Natasha Morrison finished sixth with a personal best of 10.85 seconds. If you're finding value in this coverage and want to stay updated with more thrilling athletic performances, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more of these exciting moments to you. The second day of the meet witnessed spectacular achievements. Ethiopia's Gudaf Sige set a new 5,000-meter world record, clocking an astonishing time of 14 minutes 21 seconds, surpassing the previous record held by Kenya's Faith Kipyegen. In the pole vault, Sweden's Armard Mondo Duplantis cleared a new world record height of 6.23 meters, 
establishing himself as a true legend of the sport. Jamaica's Tajay Gale shone in the men's long jump, securing second place with a leap of 8.22 meters, narrowly missing the top spot to Switzerland's Simon Ihama, based on countback. Laquan Nairn from the Bahamas secured seventh place with a leap of 7.27 meters. Rochelle Clayton, the Budapest World Champion bronze medalist from Jamaica, delivered an impressive performance in the women's 400 meters hurdles, finishing third with a time of 53.56 seconds. The race was won by Femke Ball of the Netherlands in a meeting record time of 51.98 seconds, followed by the United States' Shamir Little in second with 53.45 seconds, and Jamaica's Geneve Russell in fourth with a season's best of 53.60 seconds. The women's 400 meters saw Mary Lady Pauline of the Dominican Republic running a swift 49.58 seconds to capture her second consecutive Diamond League title. Look at Paulino stretching away, looking powerful, punching with the arm, driving towards the line. That's a massive winning margin. What's the clock? 49.58. She wins it by a country mile in one lap turn. Jamaica's Candice McLeod secured fourth place with a time of 50.76 seconds, while Barbadian Shade Williams finished fifth with 51.07 seconds, and Aaliyah Abrams claimed the eighth position with a time of 51.70 seconds. The men's 110-meter hurdles witnessed Jamaica's Olympic champion Hansel Parchment running a personal best and world-leading time of 12.93 seconds, securing his first Diamond League title in the event. In the women's 800 meters, Jamaica's Natalia Gould ran her best executed race, finishing third with a Jamaican national record time of 1 minute 55.96 seconds. Hodgkinson trying to hang on. This is what happened in the world, but it's Athing Mo just got the advantage. Hodgkinson trying to come back, but Athing Mo is going to go away. Mo's going to take the win here. It's quick. 154.97. Alexander Ogando of the Dominican Republic, who had faced a false start in the 400 meters, redeemed himself by finishing fourth in the 200 meters with a time of 20.08 seconds. The race was won by Canada's Olympic champion Andre de Grasse, who clocked a season's best of 19.75 seconds, claiming his first Diamond League title in the event. To wrap up the meet on a high note, double world 200 meters champion Sharika Jackson of Jamaica ran her second fastest Diamond League 200 meters with an impressive time of 21.57 seconds, securing her second Diamond League trophy of the meet. This achievement also made her the second woman since Shelly Ann Fraser Price to win both the 100 meters and 200 meters at the Diamond League final. Antonique Strawn of the Bahamas finished third with her second fastest 200 meter time of 22.16 seconds, marking a highly successful Diamond League final for the Caribbean region. The 2023 Diamond League season undoubtedly provided fans with a remarkable spectacle, as Caribbean athletes consistently shattered records and demonstrated their status as world beaters. With the season coming to a close, these exceptional athletes will now turn their attention to the off-season, where they will rest and prepare for the upcoming 2024 Paris Olympic season. What was your favorite Caribbean performance at the Diamond League final? Let us know in the comment section below. The Caribbean athletes showcased their prowess, leaving an indelible mark on the world stage. Their dedication, passion, and talent remind us that with hard work and determination, greatness is within reach. As we bid farewell to this season, let's carry forward the inspiration and look forward to the magic they'll bring in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Remember to comment below with your standout Caribbean performance from the final. Until next time, keep cheering keep believing, and always aim for the stars. As we gear up for the excitement of the 2024 Paris Olympics, if you're enjoying our content and don't want to miss out on any updates, please do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share with fellow athletics enthusiasts. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you're the first to know when we drop new content. Let's experience the Olympic magic together. This is Jaira Caribbean Sports.